called it my digital garden template. And the reason I did this is name just like that there. I see you. I'm a little offended that you're just here to pick up the free template and go. Also, totally get it, so. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I want you to grab your coffee today, grab your laptop, and let's go through this Notion template that I designed for you all. It relates to a video that I posted about three weeks ago. In this video, I talked about how overwhelmed I was with over planning and over consumption of social media. We talked a little bit about how I was solving the over planning situation. I mentioned in that video that I am a Notion addict and I over plan my life to kind of a crazy extent, but I also am very influenced by seeing how other people plan their lives. And then I like go down all these different directions and it just becomes a lot. So that's why today this Notion template is very simple. It's very easy. I really wanted to focus on it being cute and cozy and warm and the type of place that you want to go more often especially because it's to help with overconsumption of social media. So if you haven't watched my first video, I do perhaps recommend checking it out. You can check it out after. I go a little bit more in depth about how I've been feeling lately, how exhausted I've been with overconsumption of social media and over planning my life. And I can tell you I'm already feeling so much better with planning less and not putting so much pressure on myself. So in that video, I kind of talked about how I'm not expecting myself to stop consuming social media. And I did kind of touch on the fact that I also think of myself as an artist in some ways. And I actually think consuming content can help you with your own content, with your own designs. If you're like a graphic designer, web designer like myself, with your own art, if you're an artist as well, or even a writer, we, we are influenced by each other. And I think that's not always a bad thing. Things, so I'm not expecting us to just cut it completely out of our lives or anything like that. So that is why this template is built not to stop you from consuming content, but is built to encourage you to consume it in a healthier way and a way that's a bit more educational, insightful, meaningful, intentional. <laughs> so that is why I built out this template. Now, what is this template called? How does it work? I called it my digital garden template. And the reason I did this is I saw a video about a month ago, I think, when I was kind of going through that time where I just felt exhausted. I was sick at the time and all in my head about over planning and overconsumption. And this YouTuber made such a interesting video that I thought, oh my gosh, all these points are things that I've been thinking a lot about lately. And this YouTuber talked all about how to consume content in a way that's a bit more intentional and mentioned the concept of a digital garden. From when I watched the YouTube video, I don't believe they had a template or anything like that. And I think that video mentioned Obsidian as the note-taking app. Now, I'm a Notion girl through and through. And, and I thought to myself, ooh, I'd really like to make like a cute Notion template for something like this. Because I love the concept, but Notion's definitely where I like to go. And I like cute little templates like that that I'm happy to keep revisiting. And so that's exactly what I did. <laughs> so I made a digital garden template. We can get into it right now, but my main overall idea of it is to take the concepts of when you look at a piece of content to intentionally look at it and be like, break it down. How did it make you feel? What are some concepts from it that you want to explore further? This could be a book. This could be a video. This could even be a YouTube short or a TikTok. You go down a rabbit hole. I really want all of us to lean into the things that interest us more. Go down those rabbit holes, learn those things, but do it in a way where like we're taking little notes and we're learning different things. And I think that's what makes all of us unique and I believe that's kind of what this YouTube video mentioned as well is like we should all lean into our own interests and that's not always a bad thing but when we're just consuming a bunch of content and not taking any notes down we're not going to remember a single thing that we watched so next time you catch yourself going into like a doom scrolling over consumption of YouTube kind of flop week that's what I like to call them for myself anyways where I'm just kind of like ugh, blah with life and I go on to social media a lot pull out this notion template and kind of pull yourself back into a different mindset of how you're consuming that content make it more of like a fun project that like oh I'm digesting all these different ideas and I'm learning these things and learning about myself while doing so so with that being said let's get into the fun part let's hop right into this notion template that I made Okay, so I've pulled up my Notion templates, my digital garden that I have created for us to have as a central hub for all ideas, inspiration, and reflections. I wanted to start off with explaining how to use the database and like what it means. We do have this cute little widget here, which is daily learning. How to use your digital garden master database, which will be right below. This is where you're first going to plant seeds. I thought that was a cute way of putting it. So I just discovered this moment, a new idea or piece of content that is brand new to you and jotting down like an initial reaction, a note or a quote, but you haven't really gone deeper into that subject yet. 
Then you also have growing. So this is when you come back to a concept and you're expanding on it. And you could be connecting these ideas to other notes in your garden. I want it to feel like a bit of a web too. So we have different ideas linking to each other and I'll show you how to do that in the database. And then we have bloomed. So this is when you feel like you've distilled this into something meaningful. Your notes feel complete for now. And maybe you've even made it into something from this. So you could have turned it into a mini essay, a video. I don't know, like even a design based on the concept, things like that. And I have it in a nutshell here. So seed, new, raw, quick caption growing, actively adding depth and connections, and bloomed is a polished, solid understanding of final thoughts recorded. So let's get into the fun part. So this is the database. I put some examples in here because I myself have not fully tried this database yet. I've spent so much time building it. So if you want to stay tuned at the end of the video, I think what I'll do is do a little session myself where I just go through content and find some ideas. And if you guys want to stick around for that and maybe try it out, at the same time, um, feel free to do that too, but let's finish going through the template first. So it's this table here, you add new pages, and when you add a new page, I have a seed template so that you can start off, and it has kind of the things that maybe you should first note down. So like the source, the date, a little summary, some first thoughts, some reflection ideas. You don't have to fill them all out right away, but just for when you're starting an idea. So then you would fill out connections eventually. So that could be like, I would always do at, could be at, what's something I did like atomic habits and everything in my page. You can link it to other ideas in your in your template. Date, when you started it, so if I started today, March 6th, rele relevant links, you could link the YouTube video, you could link the PDF of a book if you find it online, podcasts, anything like that. Summary, I like to put a little summary here even though you will put more details down here just so you see it in the table. Um, tags, this is where you can tag what it's about. So if it's like mindset, history, business. And then here, this is the type of content that it is. So it could be like a short, for example. You can add as many different types as you want. And then lastly, some little thoughts in here as well. So that's how you fill out your template. And I'll show you an example of what a filled out one looks like. So let's do one of the bloomed ones. So connection, it connects back to the Atomic Habits uh, summary. I don't have any relevant links linked to it. Um, a little summary here, some tags, type, thoughts, and then this would kind of look. And then this, wow, words, <laughs> what a concept. <laughs> This is how it would look once you've added all your notes in and everything. Um, I did add some potential connections down here as well. So yeah, that's how it could look. I feel like this could just be such a fun way to start looking at social media and content consumption differently in a way that's a little bit more helpful to us. As I mentioned in my last video, basically like I want to take away that feeling of, you know, when you doom scroll and you've watched a bunch of stuff and you can't even remember for the life of you, what the last five videos were or what they were titled, even if they were super interesting, like we just don't remember them. So I really want this to help in that way. I added like a little weekly checklist down here too. So to add at least maybe one new seed, review the growing ideas. And I even put like an example of an established uh, consistent review process. So, you know, your daily and weekly capture, when you stumble across something, adding it to your database, you could even just add it to like your Apple Notes app. I love doing that too, and then pull it across here later. I want it to be helpful for you but at the same time I cannot say this enough I don't want you to over plan things and make this not feel fun that's why I tried to make this template really colorful and cute I want it to feel like a fun thing to do to replace the the scrolling when you get the urge to go on social media and stuff you can still do that but with this template hopefully it'll help you just come at it in a better way in a way that helps you a little bit more. So yeah, that is my template. Let me know what you guys think. I'm of course going to show you how to download it as well. And if you download it and want to use it right away, <laughs> join me for the next part where I'm going to take some time to consume some content at the same time as you and populate my own digital garden template because I'm just starting to use it as well. All right, so if any of you skipped directly to this part, I see you. I'm a little offended that you're just here to pick up a free template and go. Also, totally get it. So <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You're tanking my watch time a little bit, but I hope you enjoy this template. I am going to show you guys how to download the template now. It's super simple. I have it on my website. It's free. As I mentioned, you don't have to give me your email or anything like that. Just download it and go. While you're there, if you want to sign up for my newsletter, feel free to do so. Haven't posted one in a minute, but <laughs> I may share some more Notion templates in there. Anyways, enough yapping. I know I'm a yapper, honestly. That's probably probably why you guys skipped the first part and was like, just give me the damn template. Okay, so 
First of all, you're going to go in the description of this YouTube video, classic, that's where the links are. Go to the link where I've probably clearly highlighted that this is the digital garden notion template and click that link and it's going to take you to my lovely Red Lid website. Yes, that is my digital marketing business. And you can come here and scroll down to the download button, super easy, click on it. It's going to redirect you to the Notion browser. If you don't have a Notion account yet, you can create one, it's free. But if you already have a Notion account, it's gonna take you to the browser. You're gonna go right up to the top where it has the two squares, which is the duplicate button, hit it, and it will either keep you in the browser and give you a duplicate of that template, or it may take you to the Notion app if you already have the app installed. And that is it. Now you have your own template. It's super simple and very easy to do. Now, <laughs> For those of you who, first of all, if you watch the first half of this video, thank you very much, really appreciate it. For the rest, you just want the template, see you later. Um, <laughs> but for those of you who wanna stick around and hang out with me for a little bit, we can definitely yap more now. I wanted to use this template myself with you guys, and I am going to share my screen, talk a little bit about whatever social media content I decide to consume. I think I'm gonna do TikToks because TikToks seem to be the weirdest thing to use for this template, so I kinda wanna see how it goes. All right, so pull up your social media content. Also, while we're at it, maybe grab a hot drink or something. Let's get cozy. I hope you guys enjoy the background. It's gonna get progressively darker as we scroll. I'm on a chamomile tea kick lately, so that's what I'm having. That's still hot. Okay, let me open up TikTok. I have actually been doing pretty good with not going on TikTok lately. Again, I made a whole video on my YouTube addiction. That's really, that's where the problem lies. But TikTok, I'm pretty good on generally. Like I don't go on it that much. I will say I like going on, I have a Red Lid TikTok account that you guys should follow, although I haven't posted anything there for a while. I really want to get back to posting. So I would like to post more design content and share that with you all. So if you're ever interested in like more brand and web design related stuff, feel free to check that out. I do like going to this account because I follow more just design related things here and it is more educational. So as you can see, I already love this TikTok. I think I already saw this on Instagram actually. I'm gonna heart that. I think it's really cute and save it for inspo. I love little illustrations and things like that in videos. Skip these. Branding trends we'll see in 2024. And like this looks like a good place to start. Minimalist maximalism. Serif fonts making a comeback. Were they gone? I've always liked those fonts, but. Um, yes, oh my gosh, I've seen so much more organic hand-drawn elements in digital branding. I love it. Love, love, love it. Oh, and that's it. Well, I agree with those trends. I feel like I have seen more of those coming up around lately. More graphic design trends. Ooh, yes, iOS core. This is something I want to incorporate more and more. I've seen a lot of this on YouTube in a while, like it's been around for a while, but it just doesn't get old for me. And doodles, kind of similar, love that. There's nothing really here that I haven't heard of though to explore. Oh, we gotta check this out. Okay, we found something to explore, love that. It's called sketch.metademolab.com. Oh, I can't use it for any commercial projects. Well, hmm. upload a drawing. Okay, this is more something I might try, but I don't think I wanna dig any deeper into. Okay, I'm clearly not finding anything on my For You page. What I'm gonna do is try Pinterest because that's another short form content app that I love to go on. But I think we may find some more things that we can actually like dive into and learn on here. So let's see. Hmm. Okay. Something that I could see myself looking into is this cognitive load theory. Let's do a little research. Let's learn this. Did I stop recording? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. How much did I end up recording? I realized I did not screen record any of the time I was on Pinterest, but that's okay. I spent most of the time just not finding much. <laughs> All right, let's do a new concept, a new seed. So new seed template, we're gonna call this Cognitive load theory. See how I don't remember already? Crazy, crazy. Good thing I screenshot it. <laughs> Maybe it's just my memory. Cognitive load theory, correct. Theory, no connections yet. The date I found this today, March 7th. Relevant links, obviously don't know any yet. Don't have a summary yet. Tags seems to be like mindset psychology. Let's call it that. Type, well, it was a pin. <laughs> but I think we need to find more sources than just that. We'll say Pinterest. Let's do a little bit of diving into this topic. Cognitive load refers to the amount of information our working memory can process at any given time. 
duh. For educational purposes, cognitive load theory helps us to avoid overlearning learners with more than they officially. All right, sure. Let's put that in the summary, actually. Oh my gosh, but I feel like, <laughs> is overconsumption of social media cognitive load when we're consuming too much? This is kind of funny that it relates to this video in a way. So apparently if you're dealing with cognitive load, cognitive overload, you have paralysis. So you're unable to deal with a topic or issue. Uh, it's more than you can manage. Anger, passivity, or understanding. You may process information by relying on input from trusted sources. Da -da -da -da. This was not super helpful either. Wow. Aids to manage cognitive load. A to-do list or planner. Love that. <laughs> Taking notes during a meeting or lecture. Taking notes while going through content, perhaps. So you don't have to remember everything. Incorporating visual aids such as diagram charts or mind maps. Well, you know what? Let's actually add that to our template. That sounds kind of interesting. Um, we'll do two. The way I want to run to Reddit and hear about whatever people have to say. You know what? Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. We're on social media right now. It's fine. Why am I actually like getting in my head and trying to think I have to be on the internet and looking at articles to learn this? Oh, this is interesting. You know what? We're gonna save this link. I do really like this guy's, or girls, I'm not sure who posted this, uh, image on cognitive load. I feel like it's a nice way to look at it, like cramming too much into our working memory to store for our long-term memory for all the things we want to learn. Anyways, let's do a little bit more digging. I actually am enjoying the fact that Reddit provided something that I found the most helpful so far. <laughs> I didn't see anything mind blowing. I can explain in a few sentences. Sometimes people come across so condescending online. Anyways, me just skim reading. I don't really know. That looked condescending. Oh my gosh, 100%. When I get overwhelmed, I also love to create a huge brain dump. Hence why I love doing that in Notion. And I kind of have a running one going at all times because it takes so much pressure off. Sometimes I can't sleep if I haven't really written everything down on a to-do list because I'm just worrying about forgetting stuff. Sounds like a lot of getting better at dealing with cognitive load and speeding up the way you learn things as well as just practicing, which I think is really true. And I think when you're younger, there is a point in time where you're a certain age, I believe, where it works better. Like as you get older, those neurons are not firing up the way they used to. But also when you're in university or maybe at the end of high school, like whenever you were at your peak learning, that's probably when your brain is best at taking in information because you're just so used to it. Like I honestly feel in some ways I am like much less intelligent than when I was in university, but at the same time, I think it's just because I was learning so many things and I was also doing like more science then, whereas now I'm more in marketing, which does feel a bit more intuitive to me and easier, but also I don't think I'm challenging myself to learn as much. Um, that's kind of why actually I did that video. Uh, this was like before Christmas where I did a 75 day challenge and I was going to do 20 minutes of learning every single day. I almost completed that challenge, but as you know, I'm on my whole don't overplan your life kick right now <laughs> because I burnt out from that. Um, I kind of want to bring that back in like a, in a nicer way, but yeah, trying to learn something outside of your regular routine, your regular bubble every single day, I think is really helpful. <laughs> do some speed. That's funny. Okay. Um, okay. So my initial thoughts, I definitely want to find more helpful tips, expand on the seed and figure out ways to improve memory and learning. And then I also noted down that it's kind of funny that Reddit had the most helpful tips so far. I don't think I'm even ready to really go into reflection questions. Like I really want to break this down further as I move it from seed to growing and then eventually bloomed. If it's bloomed, perhaps you will see this concept in a YouTube video someday. I think this template is going to help me with almost like journaling and coming up with ideas for YouTube videos and things like that. But anyways, that is all I have for you all today. I hope you took some time <laughs> to go through social media in a, a more structured, more intentional way while you know hanging out with me for the last little bit of this video. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you found anything more interesting than me or you know anything that you think I may want to go down a rabbit hole and explore as well because I always love to come up with new things to check out. So please let me know. Also let me know if you're using the template and if you enjoy it. And with that, I will see you all in next week's video. Have a great week. Bye friends.